Hello, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how I can my computer say anything that I created on my phone. For this example, I use text-to-speech. As you see, I have here on the left my phone, I created an easy task called weather. So in step 8, I have the result of the weather. And then I'm gonna send it to my computer. And on my computer, I will read out that loud. So it comes to my speakers of my computer. Let me show you how it works. So I'm gonna play it. Play. It is now clouds. The temperature is now 14 degrees Celsius. Minimum temperature for today is 13 degrees Celsius and maximum temperature of 16 degrees Celsius. The humidity is 87% and the wind speed is 2 km per hour. So as you heard, that was a voice speaking through my speakers on my computer. So how can you create something like that? It's quite easy. Here I have several variable sets. That's quite easy. And then I have here my result. So the variable result, I'm going to use that inside an auto remote message. So when I open that one, you will see here the recipient is eventcost desktop PC and the message will be weather equals double point equals variable result inside my event goes you will see here i have here a macro speak weather on pc and the trigger will be auto remote message weather as you see right here you see here weather that's the same as this part okay i hope you understand that and then i use show usd on screen display and i use this code eg point event point payload point rcom that that's what you saw right there on my screen. And then I used also speech and I speak the same thing. And the code, this code, what you see right here is the same as this code, as the variable result. So what you see here is always the same thing after the code equals double point equals and that part will be the same as this code. Also event ghost has a speech plugin. So you can add that plugin by clicking the auto start, then click on add plugin. And then you see here right down under other, you will find here speech. Okay. And here I use the speech action. Also, I installed Ivona on my PC, the same voice on my phone. I used for this one the demo version. So I hope you like this tutorial. It's quite easy to set up. It can be very useful. So you can create your own voice assistant on your computer as well. Just using that TTS. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave that on my Google Plus community and see you next time. Bye.